Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. We've had a pretty cool development update looking at some bits that are coming with Alpha 3.9. Concepts for space whales, cargo decks, new locations, interaction improvements and much much more as well. Let's jump in and summarise this bad boy. So Clash Your Automated Prison is getting its final tweaks and details put in ready for 3.9. There's quite a bit to explore inside and out for that facility on Aberdeen. They showed off some soft body assets of moving tarps and it's really looking pretty cool there as well so cool new location cool little bits and bobs of uh, new tech they've got implemented in there as well they've completed the all-important prisoner jumpsuits as well the orange cool jumpsuits which you can I suppose smuggle out of Klesha um, if you escape with one on uh, they even showed the sort of like mines underneath with a load of workers there working or prisoners working and a weird little space penguin statue I want that statue. Uh, UI have completed various signage found throughout New Babbage in 3.9. They showed some of the food menus for four different eateries, twin sandwiches, Elwise coffee, and Whammer's burgers. Nom, nom, nom. Lots of food to buy in 3.9 and brands of food within that group of nom noms. They have been working on hologram text displays so you can sort of like see text really clearly from info terminals in a diegetic manner. They've completed a first artwork pass of a new SMG from Gemini, a pistol from the Lightning Bolt Company, and they've even been doing VFX concepts for the Atscab sniper rifle, again from the Lightning guys. They are exploring its sort of like projectile and charge and how it explodes people when it hits them, from knockdowns to chain lightnings to sort of like dots and sort of staying electrical effect on them. Really, really cool weapon. This is actually something I'm really excited about as well. Touch blending is being worked on for plants and flora. So this has the game engine spawning sort of like bones for plants when players are close, that then deform and move when touched or pushed. It's early R&D at the moment, but I love the idea of this having deformable sort of like branches on trees and bushes and stuff that um, you can have people hiding in or animals rushing out of. It, it's a very cool little um, thing that really sort of like uh, makes the world feel a bit more alive. They've been improving detailed terrain maps, allowing for much greater looking detail between levels of detail at any given distance. They've been working on cargo decks and more generally cargo for modular space stations. It's not planned until 4.1, but there's a lot of extra gameplay coming with um, sort of like additions to cargo when they add it uh, and those cargo decks and all that sort of jazz. They've showed some more of the Assidio Comoray from Squadron 42 as well and I would expect more and more Squadron 42 updates as part of sort of CIG's normal routine now. They've been building outfits for Orison, the Crusader landing zone. Specifically, they showed some concepts of the Crusader security guys, Batista and Gibbs. They are mission givers that are going to be there. Space Whales are not just Star Citizen memes. They are also being concept as a creature in game. Space Whales may form valuable materials on their bodies making them a large target for ships to hunt or land and then gather materials there when possible. There are three versions that they are currently looking at and are being reviewed at the moment. So it looks like space whales will actually be a creature in game. That is weird, but cool. Maybe we'll have to wait and see. I thought originally troll, but now I'm thinking not troll. Talking about concepts, lead concept artist Jeremiah Lee is going to be live on the Star Citizen Twitch at 7pm UTC today, the uh, 20th of March on Friday, and he's going to be looking at uniforms from the Second Tavaran War and what they might have looked like for the UEE military, so it's like vintage concepts here. I think he's been working for the company for eight years now, and I love Jay Lee, he's one of my favourite people. Join into that, watch that later if you're interested. Something of a big player experience update in 3.9 as well is the personal inner thought system update. This is going to give players more options with items and their character that gives sort of like contextual easy access to anything you might want to interact with in the game. You will be able to access a radial manual by holding F and then right clicking and that will just bring up the personal inner thought system. It's a radial or wheel menu with nested categories and actions so you can sort of like um, go down the, the tree and find whatever action you want to do in any given situation but also it's going to have the ability to have your common or favorited actions on there easily accessible as well. This will also have access to basic functions like leave a seat or even crouching all the sort of actions that you will have hotkeys for in game as well and this allows you to even force respawn or choose emotes it's another way of finding the optional control you want in game 
even I find functions I didn't realise existed still, um, even though I've been playing starters for a long time. There was a motorbike outside, which you might have heard. Brrrm. Uh, you can rebind or favourite an action from here by right-clicking on an action that you want to um, sort of favourite or rebind uh, on when the wheel is already open. And you'll be able to interact with your ship functions here too, so going into quantum travel or scanning or, or whatever, turning off. Uh, your power plant, whatever. Also, as part of this is the personal inventory system, which is selectable from the radial menu and basically merges with the old personal inventory. You'll be able to select a consumable straight from that um, as well to eat or interact with. Um, so that will make um, eating and drinking much easier. There are quick select wheels for weapons as well now, so you can change between your gear and items easily. They are going to be expanding and improving these menus with new features and generally making them better in the future from patch to patch. Now, Due to ongoing situations with Corona and a mixture of staff working from home or ill, there is an assumption, at least by some, that 3.9 could see a small delay for its live build, even though CIT are reasonably lucky in their setup that allows for remote working. In Inside Star Citizen, they confirmed that a lot of their staff are now working from home, and their goals still remain unchanged, though. They may have some changes to video content, but will keep the lines of communication open. Obviously, there's been some minor disruption. There was a message from Chad McKinney replying to a user on Spectrum. The user had originally said, I'm going to assume that 3.9 is going to be delayed. And Chad replied, we're certainly trying to get it out on time. Obviously, there's been some disruption while we reconfigure to largely work from home. The good news is, is the company has been primed for distributed collaboration for years, given the nature of our studios being so spread out. It's not as disruptive as you might actually think think. I have a much more in-depth video about the potential disruption to the project and I will link that down below as well. I talked about it a lot yesterday and just general sort of like remain calm, be sensible, be good, don't lick people. And that's it for today's video but I'd like to know what you think. Do you think we will see some minor 3.9 delays by a week or two for the live build? What should we call the collective of personal inner thought and personal inventory system? Is it pit piss or piss pit? What features are you looking forward to in Alpha 3.9? What did a bored CIG employee send me in Amazon that arrived today? Uh, find out when I stream later because it's silly. Uh, whatever your thoughts though, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Every month we have a ship giveaway for Star Citizen. This month we are giving away an Anvil Arrow Light Fighter and game package with that so you can have access to Star Citizen if you don't already. All you've got to do to be in for a chance of winning that is comment on any of my videos made during the month of March. There are full details in the description below. I am a shill for a couple of companies, NordVPN and NordPass. If you are looking for a VPN or a password management system, I recommend recommend you check them out. They've got many benefits over free services and as I'm pretty security conscious uh, I love those kind of services. Also there's Shadow if you are thinking about getting a new gaming rig or upgrading your gaming PC for Star Citizen or whatever then consider Shadow instead. It is a internet cloud-based subscription service like Stadia, like GeForce Now but this one gives you access to a full Windows 10 environment that's fully customizable and that is significantly better in my my opinion allowing you to do a lot more with it check out the links below for them or use the code board gamer for discount also if you wish to support the channel further there is patreon there's the youtube join member button down below that really helps this is a community supported channel and i wouldn't be able to do what i do without the support that i get if you want to share these videos if you want to comment give feedback whatever that is also in hugely appreciated thanks very much for watching guys you take care and i'll see you in the verse